Hello students, welcome back. Let us continue with chapter 6, Lines and Angles. In the previous class, we, uh, we were looking at exercise 6.1 uh, and we completed the first four questions. So let us proceed with question number 5. Let's read out the given and what we need to prove. We have PQ, POQ as a line. So this is our line POQ. Ray OR lie is, a, is perpendicular to line PQ. So here is the point, that's O where it is perpendicular, OR is perpendicular to PQ and OS is a ray lying between OP and OR. So OS is a ray lying between OP and OR. We need to prove that angle ROS, angle ROS is half of angle QOS minus angle POS. So let us see how we are going to do this. Now first of all, if you can see PQ is a straight line and OR is a perpendicular on this line, then according to the linear pair axiom, angle POR plus angle ROQ is 180 degrees, correct? But OS is another ray between P, uh, OP and OR. Therefore, P, we can say that POS plus SOR plus ROQ is equal to 180 degrees. Let's write this down. I'll say proof. angle POR plus angle ROQ is equal to 180 degrees linear pair axiom but POR can be split into POS and SOR so let's rewrite this POS plus angle ROS ROS is the same as SOR ROS plus angle ROQ is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, in my bracket, I will write that angle POR is equal to angle POS plus angle ROS. So I have split this angle into these two angles. But it's already been given that angle ROQ is 90 degrees. Why? Because OR is perpendicular to OQ which means that this angle is 90 degrees. It's also denoted in your question books. The 90 degree is not marked but a square this thing it indicates that it is 90 degrees. So I will say angle POS plus angle ROS plus 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Correct? And what is my reason given that OR is perpendicular to PQ or you can just write ray OR is perpendicular to line PQ correct so I'm just going to take 90 degrees on my right hand side therefore this equation will become angle POS plus angle ROS is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees therefore I have angle POS plus angle ROS is equal to 90 degrees. I will mark this statement as 1. So we, what have we got? That angle POS plus angle ROS is equal to 90 degrees. Now let us look at angle QOS. QOS is made up of angle SOR plus angle ROQ, correct? So I will say, why? Because they are adjacent angles correct of the entire angle QOS so angle QOS is equal to angle ROS plus angle ROQ but what is my angle ROQ my angle ROQ is 90 degrees so let us just substitute this over here I will get angle QOS is equal to angle ROS plus 90 degrees. Again I will write given ray OR is perpendicular to line PQ. Therefore what can we say? Let's take the angles on one side and 90 degree on the other side. So what do I get? Angle QOS minus angle ROS is equal to 90 degrees. I will mark this statement as 2. So what do we see from 1 and 2? We see that these two angles plus these two angles are 90 degrees. Therefore, 
this angle uh, this combination over here is equal to this combination right therefore i'll say angle pos plus angle ros is equal to angle qos minus angle ros and in brackets i will say from 1 and 2 correct so let's see what i will do is i'll bring ros on one side so what do i and i'll take pos on that side but let us do step by step so i get angle pos plus angle ros this will come here it's negative so it will become plus angle ros is equal to angle qos but what do we need on my right hand side we just need ros so i'll take pos on the left hand side so what does this become we have two ros over here so i get two ros two angle ros is equal to angle qos minus angle pos so what i'm going to do is i just need ros on my left hand side i will take two over here since two is getting multiplied with angle ros it will come and divide this entire combination correct so this will become angle ros is equal to half angle qos minus angle pos this is what we want therefore i will say hence proved right so please take a look at this solution before we proceed with the last question of exercise 6.1 okay let's read out we have angle xyz is equal to 64 degrees xy is produced to point p ray y q bisect z y p but where is the diagram we cannot just make a diagram in our mind okay so that is why they have mentioned that draw the figure using this given and find the two angles over here so what we'll do is before proceeding to the question we will first take the given data and draw the diagram so let us see we have the first thing is angle xyz is 64 degrees so 64 degrees is an acute angle let's draw this i have angle x y and z this is 64 degrees right xy is produced to point p so xy is produced to point p obviously this is going to be a straight line xyp is a straight line ray yq bisects zyp so what is my zyp this is my zyp zyp so we have a ray yq that is bisecting it this angle and i mark this as q so these two angles are equal to one another right that is angle pyq is equal to angle qyz so what do we need to find we have, we have drawn the figure we need to find angle xyq so what is angle xyq you have this angle plus this angle that is angle xyz plus angle zyq so in order to find angle zyq and therefore angle xyq we need to find this angle here right and reflex of qyp reflex of qyp will be this angle uh, you have qyp here so this angle this entire angle here would be reflex of angle qyp let's go uh, one after the other so i'll see solution so what do you see over here is that xyp is a straight line and let's say this is the ray yq is a ray or you can just say that yz is a ray on it therefore angle xyz plus angle zyp is equal to 180 degrees through the linear pair axiom so let's write this down angle xyz plus angle zyp is equal to 180 degrees through the linear pair axiom but angle zyp is what it is angle zyq plus angle qyp correct why because they are adjacent angles and they is, uh, when you sum up these two angles that is pyq and zyq you get angle pyz or zyp right so i will rewrite this xyz remains as it is xyz 
plus angle ZYQ plus angle QYP. And in brackets, I will write angle ZYP is equal to angle ZYQ plus angle QYP. But what has already been given that angle XYZ is 64 degrees. So, I will substitute over here 64 degrees plus angle ZYQ plus angle QYP is equal to 180 degrees. Correct? So, I will take 64 on the right hand side it will become minus 64. So, what do I get? Angle ZYQ plus angle QYP is equal to 180 degrees minus 64 degrees. So, one, what is 180, uh, 180 degrees minus 64 degrees? Let us find out. You have 6, 1, 116 degrees. And what is my reason over here? The reason will be angle XYZ is equal to 64 degrees which is given. Correct? And I will mark this statement as 1. Now, it is given that YQ, the ray YQ bisects angle PYZ or ZYP. Therefore, what do we have? PYQ is equal to QYZ or QYP uh, plus, uh, sorry, QYP is equal to QYZ, correct? So, let us write this down. Ray YQ bisects angle ZYP. Therefore, angle QYP is equal to angle ZYQ. I will mark this as 2. So, what can we get from 1 and 2? We can substitute ZYQ as QYP in equation 1. Correct? Therefore, angle QYP plus angle QYP is equal to 116 degrees. Why? From 1 and 2. So, this is 1 apple plus another apple which is 2 apples. So, it will become angle 2, uh, 2 angle QYP is equal to 116 degrees. Therefore, 2 will come here, it will divide 116. Therefore, what do I get? Angle QYP is equal to 116 divided by 2. So, this will be 2 5s are 10, 2 8s are 16, 58 degrees. What do we need to find? We need to find reflex angle QYP. So, reflex angle QYP will be 360 degrees minus 58 degrees, right? Therefore, reflex angle QYP is going to be equal to 100 and, uh, 360 degrees minus angle QYP which is 360 degrees minus 58 degrees. So, let us find this out. 360 minus 58 will give you 2302. So, this is 302 degrees, right? I will mark this as 3. And what we need to find? We need to find angle XYQ. So, angle XYQ is going to be angle XYZ plus angle QYZ. Do we have angle QYZ? QYZ is the same as QYP, ZYQ or QYZ, correct? So, this is angle QYZ is also going to be 58 degrees, right? Angle QYZ, sorry, angle ZYQ is equal to angle QYP which is equal to 58 degrees, correct? From 2. From 2 and let us say we got a QYP as 58 over here. So, I will just say, I will rename this as 4 and this is 3. So, from 2 and 3, correct? So, angle x, y, q
is equal to and I'll mark this as 5. So angle XYQ is what? It is angle XYZ plus angle ZYQ which is equal to 64 degrees plus 58 degrees. Correct? So let's find out 64 and 58. 152 which is equal to 152 degrees so this is from given and 5 so what is given so what is given given that angle xyz is 64 degrees and we have found that angle zyq is 58 degrees from 5 right Let's just take this 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 6. Sorry, this is 6 plus 5 is 11 and 12. This is 122 degrees. Correct? So, we, I'll mark this as 6. So, what are our answers? Our answers are we need to find angle, reflex angle QYP which is here. So we do not have much space, I will just erase a little bit section and write the answer over here. Answer, angle XYQ is equal to 122 degrees and angle, reflex angle QYP is equal to 302 degrees. Please take a look. So this winds up exercise 6.1. We'll take a look at the remaining chapter in the forthcoming classes. Thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.